Hello, YouTubers and Minecrafters. Um, today I'm going to see what happens when I fill a nuclear reactor from the Industrial Craft mod full of uranium cells and uh, have absolutely no coolant aside from this ice block in which I have encased this in. Um, right now I have a red wire going to my blast shelter to protect me. Um, it's activated right now so that it's not running. Otherwise this would not be a safe place for me to be. Um, this is just out in a big desert. Um, as you can see the nuclear reactor has uh, chambers on all sides. So this is going to be pretty intense. As a lot of uranium cells for it to be using up at one time. Um, over here I have a uh, glass cable uh, going to a storage area. Over here I have 18 um, energy storage units inside. Uh, this is like a, f a four or five layer thick wall of reinforced stone and uh, I want to see how much energy my reactor puts out without any coolant before it goes critical and has a meltdown. Um, this blast shelter I built uh, it's got a four a four layer thick uh, front wall. It's got two layers of reinforced glass here um, this probably will not provide much protection against the blast once it goes critical. Um, but I can always stand back here. In fact, I'll give myself a little more uh, reinforced stone. So I can go over here. And this should provide a little extra protection after it detonates. Now I have never tried this before. I don't know um, what it's going to look like or how much damage this will do, but I can only guess that since it's supposed to be a more devastating blast than what the uh, nuke is, because of all the added chambers, um, that it's going to be very devastating. Alright, so get rid of that stuff. Um, Alright, I will turn this off. I'll look here for a moment. Um, oof! Wow! That was quick, and I I was not expecting that. That was a lot quicker than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Whoa, that is all that protected me from that blast. Luckily, it did not. It doesn't seem like it put any hole anywhere here. I did get hurt by the blast, but um, I guess it wasn't too big of a deal. Oh wow. That is intense. Uh, here you can see all my uranium cells that were in there. Wow. I was not expecting that to happen. That is absolutely fantastic. Wow, that that did just so much damage here. Whoa. Alright, well, I guess I'll go over here and uh, see if it collected any energy whatsoever before it reached critical mass. Um, wow! 
this battery box was completely empty just seconds ago and now it's completely charged that is that is just fantastic um, I'm gonna go well, I guess I have to open up this here all right let's see yeah, here you can see all my uh, mass energy storage units um, wow even these, these uh, collected quite a bit of power before um, my reactor finally went critical mass. That is really impressive. Well, these not so much. 396, uh, 384. Uh, this is only, well, it's 9,240, but that is still pretty impressive. Man, that was that was just incredible. That was fun. That was, that was a fun experiment. Oh, this actually that collected a lot more energy than what that one did over there. I wonder why that is. It's kind of strange. But man, I I am absolutely impressed with this. I was not expecting uh, such magnitude from that blast. Um, well, I guess that's really all there is to it, then. Um, I just wanted to see what was, gonna, what was bound to happen from overheating a reactor with nothing but uranium cells inside, and now I got to see it. And I hope, I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did. Yeah, that is, that is really impressive. That even took out all the sand and sandstone from under my uh, bunker here. That is that is just incredible. It even it even uncovered some uranium ore. <laughs> wow. All right. That's all for now. Take care.